Scorpio, I love you. I appreciate you. And everything's fine. This is casual. We signed up for this. This is always uh, a place where I like to highlight that although I am also a Scorpio rising, um, this is why individual readings and like going by the degree in your natal chart is most important because although I'm Scorpio rising and for Scorpio rising is the general reading, the full moon is happening right over here in the 11th house of community, friendship and wishes for the future. For myself personally, in my chart, it is happening in my 10th house of career and public life and legacy. So that's why each individual reading is so specific. I hope we're having some fun. I hope we're learning how to have fun. We had a hash a new moon reading than any other sign. I found that to be fascinating. I think the instructions I gave you were like paint your nails pastels and go have a cupcake. Because, like, there's a meme that I saw once. I think I'd never seen the show, but the show Stranger Things. And there's, like, a girl that's, like, I don't know if she's, like, an alien or she comes from out of space or I don't know what. But there's a meme where the little boy is, like, that's our friend or she's our friend and she's strange. And it's like, you know, getting introduced to people. You know, although you are the strange one in the group, or the intense one, or the different one, or the one who processes, or, you know, the one who, you know, likes to sit in the graveyard, or, you know, whatever, insert any stereotypical Scorpionic thing here. You really make others feel safe just by existing, just by your presence. And you don't have to show up verbally just by sitting there and being casual and just like continuing to like smoke your cigarette as or spliff or joint or you know vape whatever not i like i'm really not a person of the vape like the the pen for like the cannabis flower yes but for the vape no no i was a pack of marlboro red 100s a day smoker so I just, <laughs> a little hasher of a tolerance and soul than those people say. But I'm a Scorpio rising. What are you gonna do? So I don't think Scorpio is, I don't think we're the vape type of a person, but that's just me. Um, but by existing as we're sitting, you know, I always say service workers were the, you know, violinists on the side of the Titanic, but Scorpio risings are, you know, the smokers on the side of the Titanic. It's like literally just like holding on and just like. So, although you're, you know, the bridesmaid in the group and wants to wear all black, although, you know, you're the Wednesday Adams at the beach. I don't take away my advice in the pastel nails or the cupcake, but stop there. Don't, in my opinion, don't change your outer appearance or your presentation or your, you know, resting bitch face for anybody. Because the way that you play, the way that you parent, the way that you find joy, the way that you experience romance is on purpose because you are. And you know, although we unpack traumas and although we look at why we do the things that we do, and although we can be a little twisted and a little funky dunky, that doesn't mean we cannot experience joy and that we're not allowed to have fun. And that doesn't mean that the ways that we enjoy having fun are not allowed. You know? 
I was reading, I was at the cafe, I was at Cafe Sicilia the other day, and um, I was reading one of my astrological transit books. I think it was Planets and Transits. It was, book, it was published in 1978, and you know, it was connected to Gloucester, but you know, I read now in 2023 in Gloucester, so I find that to be fascinating. Um, and I'm laughing because it's like talking about like, this is how you're gonna pop, like try not to let your inner child do this. And just, like me laughing in the cafe, like, I let my inner child do that already. <laughs> and I'm literally just like, just like that, laughing to myself at the cafe, to my book with my double. And one of the gentlemen that I know, very, very sweet Libra man, um, he said, he just leaned over and, you know, he's getting up to go smoke. And he said, you are one of the most self-contained, if not the most self-contained person I've ever met. I wrote it in my journal and I found incredible compliment from him. I was very grateful for that compliment. Um, it reminded me of my favorite Jim Carrey quote, which, you know, in his commencement speech at 2014, the Maharashi University of Management, he says, I cannot be contained because I am the container. And those words have resonated within my heart and being and soul for an extremely long time. And that gentleman reminded me of that, that even alone, I show up in the way that I will show up in community. And regardless of, you know, the people that I have at my table, the tables that I join, I am who I am, whether they're there or not. And I need not apologize for that bigness I need not apologize for that. So please, dear Scorpio, release fear. Release feelings of fear. You know, this is your house of community, friendships, and wishes for the future. Release fear of being seen in all of your glory. This speech is... I'd recommend watching it if you've never seen it. Um, it's about 25, 20, 24, 25 minutes worth your time but risk being seen in all of your glory. I need to, yeah. Because, you know, for example, you're at the cafe with someone that is in your community right now, pardon me. My coffee, my protein, coffee, favorite protein. So you're at the cafe with someone that's, again, this is my plan. Eight out of ten for a friendship. You're chatting, you're saying some things, and you're doing your, you're doing your Scorpio thing of sitting in silence mostly. Observing, being pensive, and but also helping them to process. You know, I love processing with Scorpios. As a Scorpio rising, I love processing with Scorpios because we're literally like, okay, so this happened to me when I was eight. This is the blanket statement that goes over this. Let's get to their, the end result of this efficiently and, you know, without emotions. You know, when we process, it's not emotionless, it's like, it is what it is. It's Mars and Pluto. You know, eighth house is run by Scorpio. Fixed, negative, water, Mars, and Pluto. If you're run by Gemini, so it's like, intellectualized, exactly, 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 you see. Um, where was I? What was the story that I was telling? Scorpio rising, community friendships. Let's get the cafe with a friend. Eight out of ten. They're saying things you're just like, I'm listening. I'm letting them process. But in your mind, you're just like, I want to listen to this again. I let them process this last time. Why didn't they fucking fix that? Why'd they fucking fix that? You know, the next time that they ask you for your advice, which they will, you know, 
you can say like, hey, we talked about this last time. Why didn't A, B, and C? Or, you know, things like that. Like you could have that conversation. But like, if you don't say those things, Scorpio, if you don't say those things, then the person in front of you is the level that you'll stay at. Because like, unless they're a client, unless like they're paying you for your services, for your advice, and that they choose to keep paying you and they choose to keep coming back at the same level of mediocrity. Like if you said to them, hey, you could have processed this last week in A, B, and C. And then the next time they bring it up, be like, hey, even that time you could have processed this A, B, and C, and D. And then the next time just be like, hey, I will hold space for things that you're actively focusing on and working on. But like, if you're just complaining to complain, I have absolutely no bucket for that. That's not judgmental. That's real. That's just like, that is what it is. You know, our house of communication is run by Capricorn. So yeah, like if you, and I will, I say this at work all the time, like blanket statements, like I am a Scorpio rising too. Like, like I get this. Like just because this full moon isn't happening in this house for me, that it's happening up here for me, does not mean that I don't have the same energies as what's going on on this chart right now. So like, honestly, at the restaurant, I'm happy to process with you and deep dive into the muck and gook and to the shit. If you are working on something, but you think you're gonna be able to come up to me and just complain to complain? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You must have reverence for that complaint. You must have a problem. You must have like a horse jump that you're trying to get over that like we're trying to like figure it out together. Then I'm with you. So the moral of the story is Scorpio. Say it, say it with as much or as little pomp and circumstance as you actually feel like you need. But yeah, risk being seen in all of your glory. That's all I have to say about that.